Yo, what's good, my people? So look, we had a great trading day so far today. We had a great live call. I called some signals in the group, and I just got, you know, that one on my second entry. I called this one. Somebody else got this one. You know, so it's 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 been a good day, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, I mean, we, we shall continue. So whenever you're looking at, you know, these pairs, y'all, whenever you're looking at, you know, trades, people ask me, do I still trade OGC? Yes, sometimes, you know what I'm saying? I mainly trade the regular Forex pairs lately because it's just, you know, you already know. I just don't want to deal with, you know, manipulation. And if I mess up on the trade, then I mean I messed up, not the, you know, the brokers manipulating my, my trade. So, you know, that's just what it is. But let's see if we can uh, find some more setups, y'all, while we're here. You feel me? Ooh, this, this pair looking a little. But see, news just recently hit, so a lot of these pairs look a little, a little weird, <laughs> all out of whack. Cause you know news was uh popping earlier you know what i'm saying so i'm trying to see uh what pair i can get in they got a decent percentage uh 80 80s decent you feel me uh AUD usd where is it no nah, it's 47 percent let me go over here. But yeah, that's just this just most of the part. Just trying to figure out what trade I'm gonna take. And sometimes if the setups ain't there, you can't force it. If you know it ain't really nothing popping in the market, you can't force it. You know what I'm saying? You just gotta let it do what it do. Let me add this AUD CAD. See if it got anything going on with it. All right, he pushing pretty decent. See see that long news candle. Boom, got a long pullback, which means that we should be going up here pretty soon. Uh, there, there go my zones. There we go. Okay, now, okay, so this is the H1 zone right here. So we're already getting into them zones. One thing I will be uh, looking for, and let me open up my, my little ice cream tool so, you know, I can draw my charts. But one thing I'm looking for, it's for this market to pull back and form that zigzag, you know what I'm saying? Maybe somewhere in here and then bounce. But it just depends on what the market wants to do because sometimes it could decide it wants to break this previous, you know, low. So if it decided it want to do that, then it what it is. But this is a, a pretty decent trade. We already uh, looking at the market to hit this H1 zone. X on the M5. Let me go to the M1. Yeah, so we already got a zigzag formed here on this uh, M1. And so we're getting into, into these zones right here. So another thing to note, though, is that is this is a downtrend so far, you know, as you can see on the – we're below this 200. This right here is the 200 moving average, you know, the middle of this Keltner is considered a 20 moving average and all the candles are below it. So we are on a downtrend. So as you can see, the market usually comes to about right here and then turns around and goes back down. So we got to keep that in mind too um, when looking at this until it decides it wants to, you know, fully break above this zone right here. But we will see. We will see. But right now, it's looking like a decent trade is giving us a decent push. All right. And then from here, that's when I have to start coming on down to here, putting more zones that it could potentially bounce off of. And all these zones do is just give me direction on where I can enter again, you know. So as the market is pushing down, I'm like, okay, well, right here is really an entry. Right here will be another entry. You know what I'm saying? Or I could wait to a pullback to about right here and sell off again. A couple different ways you could play it. You can go with the pattern of the market, what it's been doing, which I might just sell off. You know what I'm saying? We're going to see. If it continues to push up, I'll sell off. If it continues to push down, I'm going to look to buy. But right now, it's kind of at a standstill, so we're just going to wait it out. But, yeah, that's all the market is, y'all, is just patience. Just patience. Uh, You know, just seeing, seeing what the market going to give you. Come way over here. 
I'm going to check between these two. They all starting to look the same. So this one or originally was looking the same way as this uh, AUD cab when we just looked at. Originally, the candles was way up here, but you see it came down just to form a new low. And now it's probably about to push the market up here eventually uh, now because that's what the market like to do. Sometimes just form a new low, peak below it just a little bit, or it might come down a little bit more and then finally bounce up and start going crazy. So... I feel like that's what this uh, AUD cab one may decide it want to do. May, you know what I'm saying? May decide it want to come on down here. So I might just stick with the trend on this one and sell off, but I'm going to wait. I usually sell when it's green, so I'm trying to wait to push up, and then I'll sell off. So we'll pause and be right back. It's showing me that it wants to just continue to push down. That's what it's looking like. So <clears throat> I'm going to sell off about... 400 right here now usually when i do this the market decides to go ahead and push on up and just screw me over <laughs> but i do feel like the trend has just been the same you know we get a good push up and then they push it back down so if if what's happening over there see screw me over but if what's happening over uh on the other side this one is kind of mirroring then I feel like we're gonna come back down. You know what I'm saying? So we're gonna we're gonna let this thing ride out, and we're gonna see. We're gonna trade with the trend. They say the trend is your friend. Let's find out. That what they say. Trend is your friend. So find, let's find out. <clears throat> now whether he gonna hold, we don't know. But we gonna we gonna find out. So far, so good. But one thing I do notice that we are coming outside of the Keltner channel. You know what I'm saying? I got about a minute left. We are coming outside that Keltner. Uh, I'm trying to get my, my draw to it. There we go. The bottom of that Keltner, we came outside of it. Anytime you get a candle outside of it and they start forming down here, then you know that it's going to buy again eventually. Uh, but right now, we looking pretty good. So, yeah. Potentially, this is one you do for the gram. So, you know. He used to do it for the gram joints right here. If it can, if it can manage to hold for the next twenty four seconds, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. So we're gonna see y'all. But so far, looking good, and that's trading with the chain. That's sticking to the rules, and I think we good. Come on now. Four, three. Two and one. Get your money, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Try to come back now, but you can't get me. Stop playing with me. That was perfect timing. If I would have did three minutes, I would have been screwed. Do you hear me? <laughs> That's why I got to be perfect timing. But as you can see, all right, the market is following what it's been doing. You see the middle of this Keltner channel right here? It's been coming up a little bit, turning back around. Come up here a little bit, turn back around. For the most part, it might spike up a little bit right here, right here, above the middle, then turn back around and go back down. But it won't do that forever. Eventually, it's going to break out of this, and it's going to eventually come up here, and the candles are still going to start coming up here. But trading with the trend is definitely your friend. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, until it ain't. Come on now. You get smacked over the back of that peanut, you keep playing around in these markets. All right, but I had a great day today, man. Today is a very profitable day for me. Which is great. Uh, call some great signals early. I mean, you just can't you can't make this up, man. God is good. You know what I'm saying? And he gonna make sure we do what we need to do. You dig what I'm talking about? Now, I just wanna look at this right quick just to see if we bounce off of this again, or is it gonna finally push through and break out? It may make me get in again. I ain't gonna lie to you. Usually I don't do this, but uh we might go and get the party going. It's either going to turn around right here or it's going to try to bounce here and turn around. Or it might be finally done and say, you know what? We're going to go ahead and break through here and break through here and break through here. Or if not, hey, it's definitely a good one minute joint, I think. No, it ain't. <laughs> you say we about to fake you out, sir. Get on back in here if you want to. But yeah. I'm just curious to see what it's about to do. Boy, was I here needing some water. Mm -hmm. 
a little parched out here in these streets. Been screaming at these markets all morning. But one thing is dope. It's only eight in the morning, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Making this kind of money eight in the morning. I'll show y'all my trades, man. I'll show y'all what I was in these markets doing today, man. I'll show you some wild trades from yesterday. Look at that. Thousand, 120, 25. Boom, boom. Then 400. Then uh, 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 uh. In and out. Boom. Then I took a loss of 300. Boom. Then 500. Bow. Then y'all just saw this one. 400. Bow. What a good day, man. You know, I'm having a great day. And I'm loving it. You know what I'm saying? As the account is compounding and getting bigger, you know, we started with $1,000. And just let it grow. You feel me? Oh, okay. Is he finally is he finally dropping? Okay, he did peak above. And it is finally... Let's see. If this candle closes above this, this, the middle of this counter channel, then we might keep going up. But if not, he going to want to come on back down. But he might be to the point. Let's see. He got 35 seconds on this candle. I'm just really curious to see what's about to happen. Is it finally going to break out? Or is it, is it going to come on and close back down and stay with the trend? He got 22 seconds left on this candle. Let's see. Let's see, man. Uh, uh, it's retracing a little bit. Bouncing off the H1. <clears throat> Might be wanting to go back up. Let's see. Boom. Let's see if we're going to be green. Mm -hmm. Are they going to stick with that trend? So if I just sit and look at the market and just see what it be doing. You know what I'm saying? Sadly, yeah, I don't know what it's going to do, but it, it, it's starting to. But that's interesting to see. But yeah, y'all. Uh, you know, that's my spill for the day, man. Uh, stay blessed in these markets. I want y'all to keep marking your charts up right so you'll have direction. Again, the whole goal of marking the chart up is for your entries, too, and just to know, you know, give yourself better clarification in the markets on what it's about to do. So if I got zones marked up and I'm looking to sell, we're already in the downtrend, I say, okay, well, this is a zone, so I know if I look at this Keltner channel in the middle of this Keltner, the market usually bounces right here, drops, Come back to the middle, drop. Come up here to the middle, drop. Then, okay, the next time we get to the middle, that's my first entry. Boom, the market decides to keep going. Second entry in this zone. If it passed this, I'm looking for another entry right here. That's third. And then fourth is up here at this H1. This is my fourth and final entry. And if none of those go, then I was just horribly wrong. But at least, you know, it gives you direction to know, okay, well, you know, I, and, I, and that's why I like trading regular forex pairs because I just know that if I messed it up, then it was just me. You know what I'm saying? So, But <clears throat> at the end of the day, you're going to do what you want. <laughs> Come on now. Let's see what we did today. $500 for the day, man. That's a great day. $500 for the day at 8, 19 in the morning. God is good. Let's get it. Holla at your boy.